Hey guys, so many of you have probably already heard this story. By now, six animal rights activists, they entered a farm in Utah. It's a turkey farm. They rear turkeys for Norbest. It's a Whole Foods meat supplier that advertises its turkeys as ethical, as ethical meat. They claim that their practices are humane and ethical with the health and comfort of the birds of paramount importance. You can probably guess where this is going. The photos are incredibly disturbing. You have turkeys crammed into a free range barn. They have injuries and infection. They're dying on the floor. I won't show any photos here, but I would encourage you to go see them if you aren't vegan, if you aren't currently working on consuming less animals or aren't currently helping to end factory farming and animal suffering. I really would encourage you to go read the article and look at the photos because I think it is important to, to know what you're supporting. In my 20 years of investigating animal abuse, I've never seen conditions this horrifying at a corporate farm. We saw animals that looked dead but were still breathing, animals languishing who had virtually been pecked to death, many animals collapsed on the ground in their own feces and filth. It was as bad as it gets. So again, it's not terribly surprising. It's not surprising at all if you know anything about factory farming, if you know anything about humane meat and why it's anything but, um, or if you know anything about profit incentive, something I'll talk a little bit more about uh, in another video, probably the next video that I put up. It's not terribly surprising that an industry that makes money off of destroying sentient beings would put these sentient beings into conditions that are just truly terrifying because they have a profit incentive to put them in spaces that are as small as possible, not worry about their welfare, because obviously giving them more space, taking better care of them costs money. What is a little bit surprising, at least to me, is that these activists were working with direct action everywhere. And what they did seems to have been incredibly effective. They captured film, they got press coverage, sympathetic press coverage, which is hard to achieve for animal rights activists. This coverage was rebroadcast on news stations, including Fox news stations, local Fox news stations, which obviously is a whole different thing, but still, this is, this is amazing. I say surprising because of direct action everywhere's past. Many of the things that they have been involved with, I've criticized on this channel before. A lot of these things have been stunts, but this was not a stunt. What these activists did was not a stunt. It wasn't the cringeworthy dog meat shit, right? Where you have activists going into a restaurant, yelling, holding up signs, and just annoying people who are just trying to eat dinner. This, on the other hand, is something that most people, I think, look at and say, oh my god, wow, that's so horrible, and they are sympathetic. You know, they understand why the activists did it, and they're glad that they did it, because ultimately they are whistleblowing on a company, on a corrupt company that was lying to the public. I think it's something that 99.9% .9 of us vegan or carnivore can band together on it and say, no, that's not okay. But obviously there's a cost to this, right? I mean, there's, I think there is a reason why direct action everywhere prefers the stunts. They're easier to do. There's less less risk involved, much less risk involved. These activists had to agree to take on serious risk in order to bring this information to the public. While the company executives at Norbest are trying their best to wash their hands of this and feign shock and outrage over what has happened at their farm, they're still seeing to it that these whistleblowers, that these heroes are arrested and tried for trumped up felony theft charges. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you think that if they actually had a problem with what was happening at their farm, that they would, I don't know, thank these activists for bringing this information to light and like not try to send them to prison. But again, these activists took a risk. I'm sure that they knew they were taking this risk going into it, that this was a possibility. And while I am sad for them personally, it's so shitty that they're in this sort of situation when they have done something so noble and they're trying to improve the world and they're being, this is how they're rewarded. It's so shitty and it's so sad. But in the long term, this is the best thing that could have happened. If we look at other cases, um, social justice cases, civil rights, we look at someone like Rosa Parks, you know, good people getting arrested for something that most people can sympathize with and say, hey, that's ridiculous. Why is this person being arrested? This is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful tool 
for political change. The six defendants include Diane, I'm not even going to try to say your last names because it's embarrassing, I'll pronounce it wrong. Diane, 62, a retiree who spends most of her time volunteering at animal shelters. Andrew, 24, a PhD student in the biophysics program at Berkeley. And Wayne, a lawyer and lead investigator. So the reason they're being charged or the the reason that they found, right, the reason they came up with for charging them is because they took a few birds from the property. Birds that were sick, birds that were dying, birds that had no economic value. They were simply taking these birds to rehabilitate them. They did this as part of open rescue. The point of it is to be transparent, to challenge these laws that essentially protect a corrupt industry from meaningful consequence. Laws that punish citizens who end up doing what the government refuses to do. This is not an area where the government merely fails to do its job to stop abuse, violence, and unethical behavior. The government is in active collaboration with the industry that commits these crimes, forcing citizens to expose them. So as bad as I feel for Wayne, for Diane, for Andrew, for the three other activists who are being charged, getting arrested, if they do end up getting arrested, is part of the point. And being sad for them and being angry is part of the point. And now that this has been exposed, that this huge government corruption has been exposed, hopefully this will carry on to the companies, right? And just provide more bad press, bad coverage for these companies, as well as the politicians involved, and by extension, Whole Foods, who chooses to source from these companies, chooses to parrot their propaganda. So good job, direct action everywhere, please. Please more stuff like this and less of the obnoxious stunts. This is the kind of stuff that has, that's historical and it has the potential to do some real serious positive good in the world. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, leave your comments and questions. I would love to check them out. And if you want to subscribe, that's super cool too. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Thank you again, and I will have a new video very soon.